Welcome back, guys, to another exciting installment of. No, don't eat the potato. Uh, socks glaze. And we're just gonna pick all that up. We have stuff to sell. Um, poking items. Okay. Wizard. Wizard guy. Wizard guy's important. We'll go see wizard guy. Because we need to meet him to, to be able to do some important business. But for right now, I'm gonna use the fertilizer that I didn't make before because I couldn't. And uh, I'm gonna plant these two and then the rest of those, I suppose. And sell potato and the parsnips and then put that stuff away. And then we'll go see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Or in this case, the wonderful wizard of Stardew Valley. The wonderful wizard of Pelican Down? I don't know what his official title is. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Let me go say hi. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hoe. That's not what I meant to do. Grab the fishing rod. Put away the sword. What? No, keep the hoe. Put away the watering can. I'm losing some fishing for months. I don't know why you probably get months. Put it away for the monies. Put it oh wow, okay, my brain's just off topic right now. But we'll put it away so we can go get fish for the money. So there's more room. I'm gonna sell all except the mixed seeds. But yeah, we're gonna look around for some stuff to forage first. Because I believe we're about to unlock the cutscene that shows like a major part of the game. I think it's a major part of the game. Like a super important part of the game at least. Um, yay, cutscene! <laughs> if only the super magical wizard dude was an unlockable seducible character. I'd be down for that. I need some magic in my life. Okay. I am Resmo Resmodius? Resmodeus? Let's just say that terribly wrong. Razzmatazz. I am Razzmatazz, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediator between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred lever. Yeah, I do get the point. <sighs> the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. That's creepy. Uh, please don't let it be anything inappropriate. Oh god. That was the little thing from when I was talking with the mayor. Looks like you're hurting it. Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard. Yes, please stop hurting it. Let it go. Hey, boss. You won't know shit, because you capture them and hurt them and do that. Of course I don't want to speak with you. Rude. Okay. Um. Oh dear god. <laughs> That's awkward. He just kind of left us alone in his house. Oh god. He could teleport out, but he had to use the front door to come back in. Strange. We, the Junimar, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, and you will see the true nature of the scroll. Whatever that means. Hmm, one with the forest, what do they mean? I don't know. Oh god, he has an idea. Come here. No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm quite okay. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Unfortunately, yes. I don't want to drink your weird cauldron stuff. It could be alcohol. Or roofied. Oh god, or just disgusting. Look at my face. Oh, I am dying. I am so sorry, me. 
We're gonna have like a vivid hallucination now because of the shrooms that were in there. He's just like standing back and watching it happen. Dear God. This is such a bad trip. Okay, I've got some trees and some leaves and stuff. That's okay. This is... I'd be freaking out if this was like real and just like trees and leaves started floating in my vision while I'm with a weird wizard. You've gained the power of force magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Genima. And, okay. Got kicked out of his house. Uh, we could go back and read the scrolls. But I already know what they're gonna say. So, I'm gonna keep that little tidbit to myself until I have everything I need, and then we'll go check out the scrolls for you beautiful, beautiful people. But until then, um, I don't see any spring onions. No spring onions. Sadness. I wanted some spring onions. That's quite alright though. We got a horseradish. Uh, I think there are two other things you can forage in spring. It's either a leek or a turnip. I can't remember what it is. Okay. We'll find it. Oh, hey, look, it's Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want something? No, not really. I'm, qu I'm quite alright. Broken glasses. That's garbage. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Let's wait till you're inside. None of the mayor likes me very much. Were you? <laughs> oh, you're scared. Alex, you're cute. I think because I haven't unlocked the cutscene in which it tells you that you can go through the trash of people, the villagers aren't going to get mad at me for doing it. Oh, look, an acorn. I'm going to sell that. But, you know. I'm not actually sure, so I don't want to, I don't want to rock the boat. Let's see what this says. Uh, I need Neil to bring my evening book club. Sure. I think those are nighttime fish. I don't remember if they're ocean or river, but I guess we'll wait till like four and then see if we can, we can figure it out. I'm just looking for forageable stuff before I go back to my farm and drop this stuff off. I keep, like, going quiet, it's because I have a song stuck in my head, and I'm desperately trying not to hum it out loud, because I know the, the mic quality and my general singing voice aren't a good combination, but I have had, ever since I went to the Marion Stretch concert, I've had Astoria stuck in my head, and it's driving me absolutely bonkers. Um, no more. Right. Go sell this stuff. Oh, right, I put the scarecrow there. Um, put the seeds away. Maybe I'm going fishing. I'm just going to dump all this stuff off in my mukbang. So I have enough room to uh, fish. I'll pick it up when I come back. I guess I'll try the beach first. I'm pretty sure it's a beach fish. I could go ahead and look it up, but I think I think I'm just gonna wing it. Screw it. Let's make this more interesting. Uh oh right. Might help if I selected the fishing rod as a tool. And I also hate fishing because it's so boring. Because <laughs> you have to wait 
and wait and wait, which is which is why I use the cheats in my game usually to make it so I have like an automatic bite and an automatic catch. But not in this game. I'm just making it so it has an automatic catch until I get a better rod because I'm just not about this bamboo rod life. Not not a fan. Mama, yes. The treasure chest. Oh, one sec. I think I forgot to take cake. No? Okay. In my other game, I cheat like a mad woman. Yeah. You're welcome. I don't know why I gave him the fish I wanted to sell. Uh, there you go, Catherine. Back at it again. I don't know how hard it would be to seduce some of these people. I might go back through like the generally liked gifts. Um. Oh, nothing. But like go through back through the generally li generally liked gifts to see what's good and what's okay to give people and what's not okay to give people. Because if it's just like stuff I can forge, then it's no big deal. But I think another thing I read was. Uh, the villagers like fruit. So maybe investing in a fruit tree immediately after I get... Pardon me, immediately after I unlock... Um, <laughs> unlock. Immediately after I buy a backpack wouldn't be that bad an idea. I'm not cheating with the max thing because you can set it to hit max every time. I'm just that's the thing I'm good at is hitting max. But other than that I'm trash. Oh am I am I in your spot, Mr. Fisherman? Let me oh never mind, he just moved over. That's okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take your spot. Maybe it isn't a river f ocean fish. Maybe it is a river fish. Maybe I'm just bad at fishing. But we already knew that. I'll give it a few more tries and then I'll go check out the river. I guess that fish didn't want to bite. There we go. Perfect. One more go. One more. One more fish and then I'll go to the river. I'm like really tempted to open a new, like, alt tab out and go look it up. Or like, grab my phone from where it's charging because it's not that far. Oh, I screwed up. I not go fast enough for that. Let's, let's try that again. Seaweed. I'm just gonna look it up. I, I can't do this. It's gonna drive me nuts. And if you hear like like moaning woofy noises, it's because there is a dog in my room. And and you will probably hear the dog. Um Let's not go forward. Let's go somewhere else. Because I don't think I'm going to find an eel here. Oh. Apparently I can only catch an eel when it's raining. Which it, it clearly has not been. Uh, so I'll check the weather tomorrow. Because if it's raining tomorrow, then NBD. But if not, we might not. Ooh. Yeah, I have two days. So if it, if it rains tomorrow, we're good. We're set. If it's not raining tomorrow, we're a little boned. But yeah, end of the day. I'll end the episode here so you don't have to like witness me putting my character to bed. So thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs>